here today to bring you a message of hope for the future. The politicians are meeting in Copenhagen to try to get a deal on climate change, but the measures that they're proposing, such as carbon trading, will actually do very little. What we need is real change on the ground in all of our towns and cities, and one of the things we need to do is to get cars off the road. We need to expand public transport and encourage people to use the public transport instead of using the cars. And our proposal is for a public transport system that is massively expanded, fully integrated, publicly owned and free at the point of use. A recent survey by TNS has shown that 72% of people would be prepared to leave their cars at home if public transport was free. We think that's an opportunity that should be seized in order to reduce congestion and to get the cars off the roads and put more people on public transport. As a first step, we're aiming to defend the free bus pass for the over 60s, which will undoubtedly be one of the first things that the politicians will cut in order to save public money, in order to fund the bailout of the banks. 60 million sorry, 60 billion pounds recently handed over to the banks. Uh, over the past year, over 100 billion handed over to the banks. Yet to run a completely free bus service throughout the entire country would cost only 3 billion pounds a year. And that would be money well spent. How would they raise the money? A Tobin tax on financial transactions would generate at least 40 billion a year. A tiny fraction of that could be used to fund free public transport. We've been campaigning for over a year throughout Greater Manchester. We've visited Stockport, Oldham, Rochdale, Bolton, Sale, Eccles and Central Manchester. Everywhere we've gone, people have agreed with us that this is a policy for the future. Those who think it's unrealistic need to remember that in the 19th century, the idea of free education was considered unrealistic. In the 20th century, before the war, the idea of a free national health service was considered unrealistic. Now we're told that this is unrealistic, but it would actually cost far less than the national health service, yet it would have a massive impact on reducing carbon emissions and also improving the quality of life. Ask anyone over 60 how their life has improved since they got the free bus pass. It's improved massively. People need to get about, people need to travel, and yet many people can't afford to do so. Especially people with children. They've put the bus, the bus ticket price for children up uh, year after year. They put it up from 50p to 70p last year, and this year they put it up again to 80p. Why? Purely and simply to put more profit into the hands of Stagecoach and First Group. And we want that money to be put back into the pockets of the people. Take the profits off the bus companies and return them to the people. Campaign for free public transport, arguing to defend the free bus pass for the over 60s as an absolute priority. To extend free bus travel to children and young people as the next step. And then ultimately to create for everybody, a public transport system is massively expanded, fully integrated, publicly owned and free at the point of use. Join us today, sign the petition, take away the leaflet, have a read of it, have a look on the website, send us an email so that we can put you on our email list and we want to extend and build this campaign so that it creates a tidal wave of support throughout the entire country for this rational, sensible and logical policy of free public transport. Sign the petition today, support the campaign. Thank you.